In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the glitch text effect on individual characters rather than a full word. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we first want to begin by going up to the top left, selecting File, New, and scrolling down to Legacy Title. Now we'll just press OK on this window. And inside of the Legacy Title window, you just want to go ahead and create a title of your choice. So we'll select anywhere in this black video. We'll just type out a few letters. I'll put Film. We'll select all of that. We'll change the font. We'll increase the weight to heavy. We'll increase the size and then add a little bit of kerning. It's really important that you add kerning here. And kerning is basically the spaces between each individual letter. And the reason why this is important is because we're creating a mask later on on each individual letter. So we'll just center that up once you're happy with that. We'll close that down and we'll drag that title on to our sequence. So as you can see, we've got film, F-I-L-M, in the middle of our video. Now from here, we need to draw a mask around each individual letter. So we need a layer for F, a layer for I, a layer for L, and a layer for M. So we need four layers. So before we go ahead and mask, we need to make a copy of the layer so that we've got four different text layers. So we'll hold Option on our keyboard, select Title 1, and drag that up, making sure Option is still selected. Now we'll keep repeating that until we've got four layers. And there you go, four layers. So we'll go to Title 1. We'll zoom in to that letter just a little bit. Go to Opacity, select the Free Draw Bezier, or if you come from After Effects, this is the masking tool, the mask pen tool. And we'll just draw a rectangle mask around that F. There you go, perfect. Now we'll go to the title on video two, and we'll draw a pen mask around the I. Same thing again, we'll go to the next layer, and we'll draw a mask around L, and you guessed it, number four is M. So we've got our letters broken down into different layers. Now, this is where the effect starts to get a little bit tricky. So we're just gonna zoom back out. We'll pull the monitor up here and we're going to get quite a few layers here. So select all of those four, hold Option. You want to hold Option and pull all four of those layers up so that we've got eight. So basically what I've done is I've copied those four individual layers and pasted them on top. So now we've got two Fs, two Is, two Ls, and two Ms. But we need to do that one more time. So making sure that the first four layers are selected, we'll hold Option again. We'll drag that up, and there you go. We should now have 12 layers. Now, this is going to get very confusing very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these bottom four. We'll label these green. Now we'll go to the next four. We'll right click, go label, and we'll label these rows. Now we'll go to the last four, we'll right click, and we will go to something blue. Do we have a blue? Yes, we've got a blue. So we've essentially got blue, red, and green here. So from here, we need to turn these individual text layers into blue, red, and green. So we'll go into effects, we'll search for tint, T-I-N-T, and we'll drop that onto our top layer. So we'll drop that onto video layer 12. And if we go up to tint, you can see we've got map black two and map white two. You want to change the white text into blue here. So we'll select the white box and we'll make this blue. And we'll press OK. And now we'll select that tint, hold Command C to copy, and we'll paste that effect onto the other blue layers. So we should now have four layers that are blue. Now we'll move down to video layer eight. So this is our first red. We'll paste the blue on, but we'll change the blue to red. And like we did before, we're gonna copy tint, Command C, and we're gonna paste that onto the other layers. So we've now got four blue and four red, and then we just need to complete this by adding green. So we'll paste that, change that to green. We'll copy the tint and we'll paste that onto the other three layers. So there you go, we've now got three individual layers in red, green, and blue for each individual letter. It sounds complicated, but trust me, it's going to work. So now we'll go up to the very top. We'll go to Opacity, 
blend mode and select screen. It's really important here that you change the blend mode of the blue and the red layers to screen, but the green layer remains as normal. This is super important. So once you've completed all of that, the top eight layers should be screen and the bottom four should be normal. This is where we can now start to do our glitching effect. So select a letter of your choice. F is obviously going to be the bottom, then I, then L, then M. So select any color of your choice. We'll work with the, the blue for now. And we'll go for the M just to make things nice and easy. So we'll select video layer 12. We'll just zoom into this just so we can see what we're doing. We'll go up to motion and we'll create a brand new keyframe on position and scale. We'll just zoom in on that. We're going to move over three keyframes to the right. One, two, three create two new keyframes and we'll move over again three one two three and we'll create two new keyframes now we'll go back on ourselves three so we're on top of those middle set of keyframes now and we're going to increase the scale to 110 and we can change the position put it wherever we like and then when we play this back you can see the m is going to glitch there you go nice and subtle of course, if you go down to M on the red channel, you can do the same sort of effect, but this is going to look a little bit differently because we're adjusting a different color channel. So we're going to get a red and aqua blue effect. And then the same thing if we go down to green, if we move this, it's going to go pink and green. But if you combine all three, then you will end up with a really awesome looking glitch effect. You can create really unique effects with this glitch effect by animating the position, the scale and the rotation of each individual letter on each individual layer. It's going to give you a really interesting and amazing looking glitch. So there you go. That is how you do the glitch effect on individual characters rather than full length words. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.